What's up, travelers? I'm inside a first class passenger train. I'm going to be taking an overnight sleeper train from Cairo to Luxor and just want to kind of give you guys a clip, uh, a quick glimpse of what it's uh, what it feels like to be inside in one. It's not that big, actually. Um, so just to kind of give you a perspective, got a top bunk here. Uh, what I've been told is this also has two seats here, but it can also fold into another bed, too. So if you're traveling with someone you're, you're taken care of and you've got windows, um, you've got a compartment here. So if you want to freshen up, you got your sink and so you could brush your teeth and whatnot. Got a little like coat hanger place here and a mirror. Here's kind of the controls. Uh, actually, the, the our, I guess um, the guy that was, that's been helping us is telling us that we can control um, just the lighting. As you can tell here, it's not that bright, but uh, he was saying that uh, the actual temperature and music controls are locked, so you can't do that. These are the service buttons for the um, butler or the guest service uh, person that helps people here on the on the train. But yeah, so pretty much this is kind of it. What you can expect. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to uh, fit on this bed, but I'm sure I'll probably just like kind of crouch and uh, kind of curled up like in the fetal position and see if I can, uh, you know, get a good night's sleep. But yeah. Anyways, I'll uh, I'll vlog a little bit later, kind of show you the food experience and kind of just my overall experience on this night train and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so after 10 minutes after leaving the train station, um, the guy brought me some uh, my dinner essentially. So I got some potato chips, fruit, dessert, which I don't know what it is yet, juice box, and two sandwiches. I'm not sure what they're what they're out of. Uh, it looks like this one's made out of cheese, and then this one looks like maybe like chicken or something. But uh, yeah, so this is pretty much the meal that you get for um, taking the train. Um, overnight from Cairo to Luxor. So just kind of like a narrow view of the aisle. Pretty much this, these are the doors that are with the sleeper beds that I just showed you guys. And uh, yeah, there's not too much going on. Got main control, another segment to the train. I'm going to be walking to the bathroom just to kind of show you guys what it's like. It looks like someone's in there. Alright guys, so this is pretty much the bathroom. Inside, you have a sink, a mirror, a toilet, um, pretty much that's how you get, you flush it down, but this is pretty much what the bathroom looks like here. So, just kind of give you guys a brief look. All right, so I just got my uh, breakfast delivered to me. I got kind of like a croissant bakery um, pastry, kind of like a ham and cheese, it looks like, but I'm not too sure because I haven't opened it. Um, got another like, breakfast pastry here, piece of bread to go with some cheese here. But this is kind of uh, what your breakfast looks like. This I thought it was actually milk, but it's actually just feta cheese um, in a box, which is quite weird. I've never seen cheese in a carton like this, but. We'll see how everything tastes in a little bit, and uh, I'll let you guys know. Going up a team. Yeah, so this is just definitely a croissant. There's no, there's no cheese or anything inside. Pretty plain. Yeah. Let me try the baked little pastry here. See how it tastes like. Mmm. -hmm really dry so I'm gonna actually wait on this until my coffee comes he's gonna the attendant's gonna bring me um, coffee in about like five minutes so I think this will definitely go well with coffee but 
I mean, wouldn't really expect too much, but at least something to get your um, stomach full right before you depart. I'm not sure if there's going to be any restaurants or any like places to eat right outside the train station, but if there isn't, I think this will give me enough energy with all the carbs to get uh, to fuel me throughout the day. Good morning, guys. Uh, it's morning. It's about like 6:50 now. Probably almost about an hour away from Luxor. So somewhat all right um, throughout the night. Obviously, with this train, it, the tracks aren't as smooth as other railroad tracks um, that I've experienced. So it's a bit bumpy in terms of experience. But you know, I guess it kind of rocks to sleep if you can put it in that way. Um, but also too, the the train always uses its horn. So if you're a very light sleeper, you might have trouble falling asleep with that. So definitely bring some headphones to kind of drown out the noise in the background that you hear so other than that um you know it's not bad uh, i think it was about like 135 dollars ish in terms of the currency conversion here so for that you know it's a little bit unique experience so i'm going to finish out uh, the rest of this trip but hopefully you guys enjoy kind of the experience of what it is like to fly i mean not fly but to take a train uh from cairo to luxor so i'll see you guys next time